First, I want to give thanks and praise to the Most High. Give thanks for life. Give thanks to Baba Shark, Tony, as known as Baba Son, Tony. And please check us online, Baba Son, Tony. And you get all the information, all the uploading, this interview on Baba San Tony. It was the most conscious barbershop in all the UK. So give thanks. Inside the house, we have the um, our great original, the guy in Brooklyn, right? And a long time I tried to get hold of him. And, <clears throat> but first, but let me shake him first, the first thing. What's up? Namaste. Ashe. Salam alaikum. Rauba. <laughs> One love, whatever language you got, you know, it come with that original piece of love, right, so, yeah. you know. You yes, might have some vibes, man. So great. Yeah. yeah. So, what we do with Brooklyn? We just want to just share your your journey, because I know you have some poor drink this, so I know you're full of power, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're full of power, you know. Well, yeah. share, share your journey, man, um, you know, where you've been doing for the last so many years, 20, I know for at least 20 years, like yeah. 15 years. So, yeah, longer know, than that, yeah, probably a long, long time, you know. Longer than I know that. you've been on the conscious um, road for a long time. So, where did where did it all start from, man? Give us, give us a little flavor. Yeah. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So yeah, name's uh, Brooklyn Nuba. Um, they finally got me in the chair, by the way. It's them. <laughs> Yo, I feel like James Cagney in the chair. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna make this all positive. You know, yeah. with a sense of humor. That's how I roll. Yeah. So yeah, I go like way back in the neighborhoods, in, a, in, in all your neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't see like just one vicinity. We all connected like intergalactically, um, consciously, whatever you call it. I don't see boroughs, I don't see cities, I don't see countries. We one love, one planet, period. Mm. So yeah, uh, personally, uh, with man T and D, they know me from like way back when. I used to be in this mall when, mm. the, when there was a lot of um, people of color, as you say, doing our thing. Mm. And um, we all got different duties to do. We all went certain different routes. You follow what I'm saying? I was under certain teachings at the time, but I was always about that consciousness. The, whether you define it by whatever name you define it by. But at the same time now, obviously I got caught up in a lot of street politics as we do. You know, because mm. I'm like the next man. I got rents to pay. I got bills to pay. You follow what I'm saying? So, uh, long story short, come full circle right now. He asked me what I'm doing lately. Lately, what I'm doing now is that... Um, just to get that in between, I've always done with the DVDs, videos, and whatnot, posters, sharing knowledge, and doing lectures. But the, for, for a time, I was doing a lot of black movies. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? Because that was the hit, like, right? yeah. black movies. And I'm talking way before DVDs, you know, yeah. before the, the Chinaman came on the scene with two pounds, two pounds, DVD, DVD, buy mm -hmm. buy this. Now, um, before they came on sideways, it was, it was a video, video, uh, VHS cassette tape. Yeah. But it was a way of like people can get access to black movies. Right. So I was bringing edutainment also. Yeah. But and connecting people with their true mm. thing. They wanted that entertainment, right? You know what I'm saying? Even something so basic like the Jackson Five show. How many mm. people get that? Mm -hmm. Harriet Tubman. I was saying that 15 years ago. That's a black animation. Right. But now all of a sudden people are saying Harriet Tubman, who's she? You don't get that in the British curriculum, right? Mm. But now people are saying, okay, they heard the name. She gave me on the twenty dollar bill. Okay, when you want to know more about her? Seeing that your child's not gonna learn that in the British curriculum, they're gonna learn more about Tom and Jerry, Tom Jason, Jerry with a hammer, Tom Jason, that's his Jerry over there with a the hammer. They replicate that in the school and they think that's cool. Now, I wanna give images where they look like them, in Iron Age after a likeness, mm -hmm. like the infamous Kirator, which is a fantastic, you know, piece of animation. Mm -hmm. So, of late, my main thing is that there's so much confusion in the so called conscious community. What I mean by that is that everybody wants to be right. Everybody wants to be right. To a point where you be so right that you're actually wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. What people hear when you said that. You could be so right. Everybody wants to be right. right. And, and and don't get me wrong, we are in a very unique day and time. I mean, this only happens every 24,000 years, which is called Econ. Where we're in the pinnacle of the sun cycle, right? It's mm. actually our time, literally. You know what I'm saying? And this everybody's got something to say. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't just cube. It ain't just Ice Cube, Mountain, Dre, I got Sam Saints. Everybody has something to say. Mm -hmm. You'll find out everybody was talking some level of consciousness mm -hmm. in this damn time. Mm -hmm. So that shows you how unique this damn time is. But with that now comes a lot of arrogance, a lot of wrong knowledge, a lot of unfactual stuff. Da -da -da. My way is better than your way. Your teacher's whack. My teacher's better. A lot of that. So I wanted to avoid all that. So my stance was, okay, mm, what's attacking all of us regardless of color, creed, organization? An organization really means organized nation organized nation what's attacking everybody what's what's taking us all down and you, you realize you stay back you're like it's disease 
and you go into disease, it's actually you render yourself at a dis ease. Mm -hmm. You ain't ease with yourself. You have no knowledge of self. You're gonna hate yourself. Mm -hmm. It's tied into yesterday's debate, which is uh, eloquently um, mm -hmm. you all operated at the speakers club, by the mm -hmm. Grand Center, by the way. Um, yeah, so the food is taking everybody out. People are dropping like flies, and I'm seeing it every week. I'm getting that call. You know what I'm saying? Best friends, boom, taken out. The camps are boom, taken out. As soon as they, they sign the duck for that chemo for it, boom, taken out. You know what I'm saying? They're eating things that's going against your very DNA. Your RNA is being compromised. Getting all those calls. My mom, she, she left the planet like three years ago. Same kind of thing. So-called heart complication, so-called diabetes complication. I'm, you know, I'm sick and tired of that crap. So I make it my duty to be out there on the block mm. and educate people what's really going on. Okay, so when you say that... Um Cause you you've, you've kind of focused mostly around health, yeah. From from um, from what you're saying, yeah. And you feel that health is, is, is should be our priority in terms of um, what's happening to us now, in terms of as you said, um, diabetes, um, with women fibroids, yeah. High blood pressure, yeah. High blood pressure is linked to stress, you know. And we go on and on the prostate cancer because a lot of black men in their forties now, and this um. Chain with prostate cancer, so yeah. I just see where you're coming from. We focus mostly around around health. So the question will be now, right? Who you know, which books do you read or DVDs you gravitate towards and let people know? Yeah. Um. Obviously, I I, I grew up in a time of Dr. Fresh Carlos Wilson, mm -hmm. who recently um, transcended because mm -hmm. I, I I don't know anyone who's passed away. Mm -hmm. I say that even with my own mom, she didn't pass away. She came through this realm, mm. did what she had to do on this plane, and then she transcended. Okay. And if you can't dissipate, you follow? So okay. I ain't about mourning people, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. About celebrating people's life and what they've done. You leave a legacy. You ain't, you ain't done ish. You ain't done ish unless you leave an impact on people's mind right. every single day, right. an impression. So I'm not impressed unless you leave an impression, impression. on my mind. Because mm. you're, you're going to embrace that on my psyche forever. Mm. <laughs> and forever's a long time, you follow? So, people like Dr. Fresco as well, Dr. Lady Africa, Dr. Mm -hmm. Lady Africa's beautiful wife, Dr. Sabi most definitely. Mm -hmm. There's so many teachers out so there, teachers, follow? Yeah. But the thing is, it's all good and well saying I, I can spit all these big names. It don't mean anything unless you personally apply it to your yes. personal life. life yeah. So, me personally, I don't eat anything with a face on an ass on it, mm -hmm. follow? Mm. Now, the first meat I learned to, to, to give up early, I say this in my... Juvenile delinquent days, fuck life. Yeah, I got you know I was incarcerated like the next man was. Mm -hmm. Go to youth um, correctional facilities, so mm -hmm. I'm locked up, right? And you learn from the rasters back then. Yeah. Don't eat pork. Yeah. <laughs> so they tell you a few things. Yeah. Especially about European women. <laughs> but we won't go into that, right? So they say, yeah, don't eat pork. You know, you find out why. Blah, blah, blah. So that's that's ingrained in your psyche. Don't eat pork. Mm. And then, you know, you're out on the street and you're getting harassed by the police. We know how the police used to carry on yeah. back then, right? Mm. And then the rest of us be like, don't eat pork, it's bacon. Don't eat pork, it's bacon. Bacon equals pigs. And they call them police pigs. <laughs> and, and you start getting a, 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 a connotation, yeah, you know, yeah. pigs is bad, police is bad, pork is bad, spam is bad. So, you know, that's ingrained. Don't, just don't touch it. But um, from my perspective, like, as a young kid being locked up, Christian of 70s, you saw the, the condition of the bacon. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, I don't mean to put you all off your... Well, I do mean to put you all off your supper. <laughs> um, you know, I was working on detail in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You see what goes through the, the mm. menses. I'm mm. talking rats, mash. Yeah, you best mm. believe that. And that can go on to a later topic. I hope mm. you asked me about the meats right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Camera number two, you got to step back a bit. Yeah, right? Um, so that, that teaches you what, what actually goes into the meats and all that. Mm. So I learned, from certain, I learned from certain other books, you know, what the actual pork is actually made out of. Mm -hmm. And they were telling us, yo, it was drafted from way back when. A cat, a rat, and a dog. Mm -hmm. That alone should make you question it. Mm -hmm. That alone, a cat, a rat, and a dog. Could you, would you eat a dog? And you see how dogs eat their own filth? Mm -hmm. Would you eat a cat, knowing that a cat is wisdom? Mm -hmm. Would you eat a rat, which is just a scum, period? Mm -hmm. Would you eat those combined together? Mm -hmm. And the mere fact they were saying these genes were spliced way back then, in the days of Imhotep and all these geniuses within our family, which shows you we knew what time was even way yeah, back yeah, when, yeah, I see you coming would from. you eat those things? Yeah. Naturally, you would question those you things. Question those so things. that made me more inquisitive to inquire. Mm -hmm. Now, being, being locked up, incarcerated at a young age, being kidnapped, as most of our youths are, is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. However, some positives can come out of that. Mm -hmm. Another thing that inspired me back then is reading Malcolm X's book. 
And that's oh, in the 80s, right? Okay. Now, he was sitting around saying, like, yeah, you can incarcerate the physical body, but you can never incarcerate the soul and the mind, because yeah. the mind's going to transcend. Mm. Now, you know this when you sleep, D. Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Because your physical body's in slumber, yeah. but you actually project, yes, which yes. means there's another part of you. Yeah. Right. So, a lot of us always knew that. However, we couldn't tell our best friends or our homies at school, mm. because the fear of being ridiculed. Mm -hmm. So we suppress that energy. Yeah, yeah, you follow what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But we always knew something yeah, intuitively. Yeah. Some of the tell you said, you'd be like, I don't know, don't know how, but my man T, what he's saying, that makes sense. That's the truth. That's the intuition. That's one of your higher senses. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We let go of all those things just because of the way we was educated. Sorry, my bad, because education is not really education. It's really edited dictation. Yeah, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So all that brainwashing and schooling on a psyche, boom, big effect. Yeah, so that Malcolm X book, that, that helped me a long way too. So you start questioning, you start inquiring, you start becoming inquisitive. Mm. And you start questioning everything. Mm. But at the same time, now you still start slipping into your naughtiness, your vices, your drinking, mm. blazing up, whatever you did back then. Mm. You follow what I'm saying? Running with street gangs, whatever, trying to make your money, whatever, whatever, for the wrong reason, but you just thought it was right to you. So all these things, all you're doing basically is a big adventure. Life's an adventure as you're young. It's a journey. I know you do, you just can you know, physical dust. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody can tell you you're wrong yeah, yeah. until you realize that you're wrong yeah. yourself. Yeah. You find yourself by yourself mm -hmm. is the main point mm -hmm. where I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to jump, uh, you said something earlier on. And uh, I, we need to clarify this. We said, um, and this, I do agree with you, we need to be clarified. You said that a lot of us feel that we're right to you right. Yes. We are wrong. Yes. Just. Clarify that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, people know exactly what you're talking about. That, that comes under the, the, the term ego. All right. So, they, they, so people will say, like, ego is the biggest killer of man. Mm. Well, mankind. Mm. But we different. But anyway, yeah, ego is the biggest killer. However, we're in a paradigm right now we can actually say a certain amount of ego can save you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could be very egotistical, right? Being out there on the block every day doing what I do. But at the same time, to back that up, I can say, well, my, my ego is saving me from being locked up again. Because mm. I know the, the positive side to my ego is my brilliance. Mm. So, y'all can all hate me, but I know my brilliance. I know I can be articulate when I need to be. Mm. You may hear me curse a lot, but I'm just keeping it real on the street. I'm not cursing right here, have I? So mm. far. So, <laughs> ego to a certain level can be good if you know how to balance that. That's yeah, the equilibrium. Yeah. That's yeah. if you find the balance inside of you. Better, because you've yeah. got 180 degrees of negativity, yeah. you're always fighting yeah. at 180 degrees of positivity. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if I said I'm coming from a background where I got locked up at a very young age, kidnapped from the streets, I didn't know no better. Yeah. But the troops, man in blue, kidnapped me, arrested me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Imagine like what I knew now mm -hmm. to compare what I knew then. Yeah, yeah. He's just a public servant. Yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a, a person in the public. Yeah, I might be in playing truant, but he had no right to come and arrest me right now. Yeah. All the police officers got right now to do his right is just to carry my shopping across the street <laughs> if I request that. Yeah. He's a public servant. Yeah, public and that's not me hating the police. You don't yeah. hear me saying f the police know that because they're doing their duty. I don't hate like that. Ask them why the police don't be stuffing me on the block. They know I'm doing a, a righteous cause, you know what I'm saying? So I I, I can't speak out bad against that. Mm. If, I have, if I had a bag full of trees in my pocket and you pour me up, then yeah, you got the right to pour me up. But you don't see me walking with no bag of trees. I'd rather swing on the trees than smoke trees. <laughs> That's just me personally. Yeah. You heard me? Yeah. So yeah, back to this whole ego thing. Is that, yeah, a lot of people be thinking they're so right. You see them arguing on the block. I'm like, wow, 2016, you're arguing if... If some guy called Abraham said what not, if some guy called Moses said what not, I ain't trying to hear all that. I ain't trying to hear that. My argument is, yo, that banana you eating is a Cavendish banana that's fake, that's a hybrid. Yeah. Why didn't you go and support the African man on West Rome and yeah. get a real banana, a yeah. little brown banana? Yeah. You go to Caribbean, you get the little blue banana, red banana, blue banana, loaded with potassium. That's mm. real good for you, you know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. And, you know, I get hit <coughs> like this because, yeah, I'm, I'm aggressive, but not aggressive, passive-aggressive. I'm an aggressive humanitarian. Yeah, yeah. Rain from this planet, I'm a light beam, that's another story. Mm. But yeah, I'm aggressive for the right reasons. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like saying, you know, hate and love. Um, I hate I hate war. But I love peace, so there's a balance, man. Yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. we go to war, we have to, though. Yeah, yeah, you have to, you have to have a balance. you got to have a balance. You're absolutely right. And you've got to put things in perspective and balance. Things. Exactly. So you're absolutely right. You know? But I, I want to jump in here. and Because um, you said that you used to... Hot in here, by the way, man. It's like the Caribbean islands, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got steam up inside here, yeah. <laughs> but it's still the best place coming in a cut, though. You heard me? I ain't never learned. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're steam up in there. Yeah, we're, we're steam up in there. But you said you used to um, lecture. Uh, yeah. And in fuck, I never know you used to lecture. And we used to lecture. What's up, you used to lecture? It's, it, it's funny because mm. a, a lot of people, like, they'd be like, yo, in 2016, they see videos I've done in, in 1993. Okay, then. Believe it or not, you know mm. what I'm saying? And um, lecturing uh, under the science of Nuwapu. Mm -hmm. 
or right knowledge mm -hmm. or Noapians. Mm -hmm. Then you got the name who was the leader at the time, boom, Dr. Malakazi, yo, mm -hmm. they, they had a figure of time. You follow? Mm -hmm. And you know, before anyone starts dissing that personal teacher, Dr. Malakazi Yok was my personal teacher at the time, at the time yeah. who is innocent, by the way, people got to go and research the case. That, so that's another thing about the advent of, of um, social media, that people are too quick to jump on vicious rumors, vicious rumors, and vicious lies, instead of going out there and studying. Study, yeah. So, you know, people are like, yeah, but a guy pleaded guilty to such and such. Ooh, terrible, man. Boom. Gave him cricket scores, baseball scores, on an illegal holiday. The reason I said that, check out the facts for yourself. That's what that man always said, check the facts out for yourself. I'm not a follower, he turned me into a leader because the great Malachi is in York, and he is a great man, whose earth day was yesterday, by the way, mm -hmm. right? Still in prison in the worst penitentiary on this planet Earth, right. which is it's just atrocious. And there's many, you know, yeah. but one by this, there's so many political figures who are being kidnapped from our communities. Ask yourself why. And do some research uh, to what happened in the real case. Don't just follow the next man and say, yeah, that man does this, and that man does this. But do you know about the cameras? Do you know about going to the appellate court? Do you know about trialing a man on a, on a, on a public holiday, on MLK Day, which is Martin Luther King Day? Come on, y'all don't know that. Do you know about Sheriff Sales, who's a demon in, in Putnam County? Please do your research and find out these unjust things and why these people are locked up because they can do it to them. Damn straight, they're going to come and do it to you. They're going to do it to me. But I don't fear anyway. I'm out there doing what I do. Mm -hmm. you, you follow what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Well, brother, boy, time's gone so quick. And I'm so engrossed in your journey. We've got to do a part two, definitely, with you. Definitely, right? man. Yeah, definitely, you know. But very quickly, um, who did the future hold for you personally, my brother? The future. Yeah. The future, the future, <coughs> the future holds for me. I can see bright things, but I can only do the bright things I want to do. Because as I said, I believe in my brilliance. I know my brilliance. Mm. And I can only do bright things if I get the support. The support of you all, you follow? And I'm strategically located outside of her, a certain hair store. Everybody know this on the blog, right? Mm. How is it I ain't got a store right now? And I'm in a store like, when I have a store, my store is going to be big enough where I can teach, because that's what I do best, as I'm also me. I can teach in there, bring the black produce in there, teach the children in there, do a live radio show from there, do a live TV show from there, open from 9 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Why can I do that? Because I don't work for the man. You don't see me on the plantation. Now, that's not a diss all your work from 9 to 5. You're going to do what you're going to do. But I ain't down on that plantation. So my time is only for you, our people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The time is now. So the future, realizing you, realizing what I do with that, I'm not so scared as some of you all are with bank accounts and all that and having access to funds. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get the wisdom of the black women Left to it. help me with that. Oh. You know, but you can donate. If you want to see a store like that in this neighborhood, to my email, brooklynbar2013 at yahoo.com. Okay. But other than that, I will close on my main objective right now. Although the food is first and foremost, if you come to my table, you'll see it works up. There's also black history, children's black education, there's black economics, which is very important. Yeah. But then the higher level is a subatomical level, which is your metaphysics, because they're all intertwined. Believe okay. it or believe it. Just that run at the time here. So, we definitely have to do a, um, a part two of you. Yeah. We'll get some more information out of you. But, get it, brother. I do a part two, three, and four, man, anytime. Gift tags, yeah? Yeah. yeah.